On behalf of Great Plains College, I'd like to welcome uh, members of the community and our honoured guests, uh, Mayor Schaefer and members of City Council, Dr. Bayan Timmons, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Regina, Dr. Harvey King, the Director of Care of the Center for Continuing Education at the U of R, Dr. Brian Gobbin, our Senior Academic Officer and Acting CEO, Acting CEO, Director of Programs, the GPC board members who are in attendance today, Al Bridal and Lana Bablick, and all members of the public, students and staff. We are excited for this opportunity to continue and to broaden the relationships and partnerships between the University of Regina, Great Plains College, and the City of Swift Current. I would like to invite Mayor Schaefer to the podium to uh, bring greetings from the city. Well, thanks very much, uh, Karen. It's a great uh, pleasure for me to be here and uh, welcome everybody here this morning. And of course, a uh, very special mention, I want to welcome our friends here from the University of Regina and our uh, colleagues and community partners from uh, Great Plains College here in Swift Current. Uh, it's great to be with you all this morning. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of reflecting uh, about my time on uh, City Council here in, in Swift Current. And uh, um, this morning, uh, of course, this morning, uh, uh, part of that was uh, doing some thinking about uh, Great Plains College here and, and what it's meant uh, to our community and how it's changed over the years. And for me, it was the home uh, to first council chambers when I was first elected. Uh, we were having some renovations done at City Hall, so we had our first, uh, first meetings over here. I can still remember, I was just asking Karen this morning when it actually changed from a community college to a regional college. And uh, at that time, uh, whether it was fair or not, a lot of folks still thought of it as a community college, a place you'd come to the GED. And uh, whether that was fair or not, it uh, was still this sort of small institution in our community. And uh, I'll tell you what, things are certainly uh, very different now. It is a thriving economic engine in our community. It is a wonderful option for uh, young and old alike to come for post-secondary education opportunities and athletics program. Uh, quite frankly, it is a beacon of real pride in our community. So if I could, I, I wish we could all uh, maybe just give a quick round of applause to Great Plains College for what it's become. <laughs> uh, so in 2014, we released a uh, strategic plan in Swift Current, which is a blueprint uh, for long-term and sustainable growth in our community. And of course, uh, one of the visions in there was a, a population of 25 by 25. And whether you agree with the numbers or not, the purpose was, it was to set a new direction for our community, to really build on the growth that we've been uh, experiencing, uh, and to really drive home the intent that we're not going to just simply be happy to maintain what we have in our community, but we really want to grow and take advantage of uh, the momentum in our province. So of course, uh, an area for us to focus on was to support post-secondary development to, in our region as a commitment to the future of new community leaders, a growing workforce, and by nurturing ideas and skills to help grow our community. Now, for those who are unaware, education is one of the key pillars behind our brand where life makes sense, which of course is why we think uh, life in Swift Current is second to none. And for a long time, post-secondary education was seen as a bit of a weakness for us. In fact, I can remember as a kid, at one point Swift Current was one of the top 10 places in Canada to, uh, to live, I believe, and, and we hung on to that for a long time. But I do remember one of the weaknesses in there was post-secondary education. And uh, I'm so proud of the fact that uh, nothing could be further from the truth nowadays is uh, post-secondary education is now a growing strength uh, and a real strong part uh, of life in Swift Current and, and a life, uh, or behind the brand, why life makes sense uh, living in Swift Current. So we are so honored to be in partnership with tremendous academic institutions like the University of Regina and Great Plains College to share in a common vision of a prosperous future for the communities we serve. So on behalf of a very grateful community, I'm proud to enter this memorandum of, of understanding, pardon me, and express a heartfelt thank you on behalf of our community. Thank you, Jared. I would like to now invite President Timmons to come and say a few words on behalf of the university. Thank you, Karen. Isn't it an unbelievable day? February 8th, it's a beautiful outside. What a great day to have this celebration. I wanna I thank you so much, Karen, for emceeing. Pleased to see you all here today. I just wanna take a moment to acknowledge the University of Regina is on Treaty 4 and Treaty 6 lands important part of our past, but more important, a part of our future. Um, Your Worship, so wonderful to see you here again, or see you again, and uh, Dr. Brian Gobbett, wonderful to see you too. Great to be back in Swift Current. I love coming here, build on so many connections, 
established between our university, Great Plains College, and the city of Swift Current. This University of Regina is a provincial university. We reach far beyond Regina, and I'm going to explain some ways that we've done that with your community. We reach throughout the province and actually the world. We have now over 2,000 students from all over the world. And our model, as one who serves, really directs what we do. We take it very seriously. So let me tell you a little bit about your university, one of your provincial universities. We're now more than 14,300 students, all from across uh, Saskatchewan, include, including Swift Current and the surrounding area. I mentioned students from more than 120 countries at our university. And many students from Swift Current have completed their studies at the University of Regina. We now have over 600 alumni from Swift Current area who are making a difference in our world. And some are right here in Swift Current, building their careers, raising their families, establishing roots, and contributing to the community. Any of you or your family members and alumni of the University of Regina, will you raise your hand? Not enough. <laughs> I've got more work to do. We have a great partnership with Great Plains College. Many, many successful collaborations. As the mayor said, Great Plains College plays a big role in the delivery of our programs and other programs in the province. University of Regina, we have classes here in art and science, education, police studies and justice studies, really important areas. We have classes to earn professional certificates from the University of Regina are also available. And I want to introduce Harvey, you want to stand? He oversees all of our programs here. Harvey King, Dr. Harvey King, our Director of Continuing Education. Collaborative Bachelor of Science in Nursing program delivered through Great Plains College. And this is a fabulous and complex collaboration. There are presently 24 students registered in this program. We have in Regina 345 of your students from this community registered at the university. And this spring, we'll have the first nursing graduates from Great Plains College who will be at our convocation. I'm really excited about that. We also have a Bachelor of Social Work that's offered at Great Plains College through a combination of face-to-face, -face, televised, and video conferencing delivery. And we have 15 of your students registered in the, in the Social Work program. Isn't it wonderful that you can study here in your own community and get a degree in nursing and social work, arts and science? The purpose of these partnerships is to have programs in home communities, to build the post-secondary options in this community. Everybody wants to keep their young people home. Well, send them out and get them back too, a little bit. Mine come back too often, I must say. So, but we want them to live, raise their families here, and contribute to the social and economic fabric of our community. And these relationships benefit everybody, as we can see. Now our relationship isn't only with Great Plains College, but also with the city of Regina. And we're excited to continue this unique collaboration we have. Let me give you an example that I was really surprised. We have placed more than 50 of our co-op students here in Swift Current in areas such as petroleum engineering and environmental engineering. So they've contributed and worked in your communities. So this MOU today will lead to increased opportunities. It will enhance the relationship we have, facilitate more co-op placements, facilitate, facilitate opportunities for applied research, and jointly consider opportunities between our three organizations, which is really critical. We're also going to look at other ways to collaborate, hold public events together, and made it, we've made a commitment that the university will come to Swift Current each year as a part of an annual joint meeting with the college and the city to continue this MOU and enhance it every single year. Our strategic plan, Piakaskigi Gawi now, which means together we are stronger. This MOU is in line with our strategic plan. The priorities are student success, research impact, and community outreach. We also have indigenization and sustainability threads through the plan. So you can see the MOU that we're signing today builds on our commitments to our students, our collective students, whether they're in Regina or here right in Swift Current taking courses. It begins a new era 
of cooperation and collaboration that I think will be a template and role model for other communities in Saskatchewan. Together, we are stronger, so true, of our work in our communities. We have so much to share and learn from you, and we're proud to be here today and participate in the signing of this MU. Thank you, Swift Current, for welcoming your university back to your community. Thank you so much. Thank you for your kind words, Diane. I'd now like to ask Dr. Brian Govett, uh, the Director of Programs and Acting CEO, to come to the, the podium. Thank you very much, Diane. Uh, I have proverbial good news and bad news. And the bad news is that I have quite a number of pages here. <laughs> the good news is it's a function of font and not uh, the length of the speech. So uh, we'll go on, go on. As well, I'd like to uh, extend my welcome to Diane Timmins, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of China, and to Mayor Schaefer and City Councilors that are gathered here today, and to Dr. King, uh, who has been previously introduced and to two board members, uh, Lana Beavley and uh, Al Bridal. And maybe you guys could stand since you haven't stood already. Yeah. I, have, I have the privilege of working with Lana and Al on an ongoing basis, and I'm very appreciative of uh, their commitment to the college and what, what they do for us behind the scenes. Uh, this, there's a strong spirit of cooperation in the history of Saskatchewan, and I was thinking about the word memorandum and looking back and uh, when that word might have been used for the first time in the history of Saskatchewan. And I'm guessing it's probably in 1874, when Treaty 4 was signed. And there would have been Aboriginal people from right in this region that traveled to Propel Valley and signed, and it used exactly this word, uh, the word memorandum. Uh, and in that memorandum, it spoke of, uh, there was uh, two words that in particular I want to draw attention to. And one was the word, uh, the phrase, goodwill. And the second was the word bounty. <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> And uh, the spirit of goodwill and bounty are uh, terms and phrases that we want, of course, to uh, serve as the guiding force of this agreement as well. Um, if we look over at uh, our mission statement, it reads this, that Great Plains College is to focus, uh, it focus its energy and innovation on building careers, partnerships, and communities. And it seems to me that that's exactly what this MOU is going to do is that we want to focus on these. It speaks of, in this MOU, of collaboration for the purpose of expanding educational opportunities for the citizens of Swift Current and the immediate surrounding region. And there's two things that I want to focus on here, and one is the word collaboration. A week or so ago, the city and Great Plains College met together to discuss what the downtown would look like. And so we began that process of collaboration. And in a week or so later from now, uh, a second MOU is going to be signed between Great Plains College and the University of Regina, where we'll uh, agree to deliver a first-year university program here uh, uh, in the years ahead. And so we can see collaboration working together. And secondly, uh, this phrase or this MOU speaks to the citizens of Swift Current and the immediate surrounding region. And I just want to unpack that word citizens a bit because our purpose here is for education. And in part, we want to produce citizens. And uh, those sorts of individuals who come into our learning community go off to the University of Regina or wherever else they might go, and they come back to their communities and be citizens in the very best possible sense of the word, in that they want to make a contribution to their community. And we trust that it will be so. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. We're now going to take a few minutes and sign the Memorandum of Understanding. I believe that they are copies in triplicate. Just pass them around. Did everybody get all the photo ops you need? Okay, I'm not seeing any, seeing no signs of disagreement. 
Um, this concludes our program for today. Thank you all very much for attending. Uh, we appreciate the support from the community and from the staff and students, and from the media, of course. Um, there are some refreshments at the back. I'd invite you all to stay and, and uh, have a cup of coffee or a glass of water and, and have a visit with uh, those of us that can stay. Thank you.